Germany's economy has been rolling along for the past decade. Global demand for German products, like cars, has meant sustained growth. But last year's economic expansion of 0.6 percent is the lowest in six years. The manufacturing sector is dependent on exports on the world economy. So there is the problem. We have the problem of sluggish growth in China. We have the problem of weaker growth in the United States. The automotive industry contributes around 5 percent to GDP and employs more than 820,000 people. But production in that sector dropped last year due to slower demand and tougher EU emissions regulations. The economy overall, however, remains strong, and experts are predicting an uptick to growth of around 1 percent this year. Despite Germany's robust economy, Berlin has recently faced criticism both at home and abroad for failing to invest its budget surplus as much as some would like. That $15 billion in federal funds left over from last year is the biggest to date. If we're making that or less surpluses, what do we do? So uh, our view is we should focus on investment projects which uh, affect long-term growth. Economist Simon Juncker believes stimulating private investment in areas such as research and development, green technology and education are key. He's also pointed out that Germany will face demographic challenges in the coming years. The workforce will be shrinking, whereas the uh, number of uh, elderly people which we have to care for is, uh, is rising. So we'll have to come up with uh, strategies to make labor more productive. The government's response to those issues will largely determine whether Germany's economy can stay on track. Iris Spitzer, TRT World, Berlin.